Hi, I'm Anthony DiPondo with the Action Network. It's a jam-packed MLB slate with 14 games on today's schedule. Let's get right to it. 4.10 p.m. Eastern, Houston visits Seattle in the finale of their three-game series. Houston starter Jake Odorizzi hasn't been good anywhere he's pitched this season, but he's been especially bad on the road. The veteran right-hander has a 5.13 road ERA and allowed 11 home runs in 47 innings pitched. His 4.95 FIP is the worst of his career in years he's been a regular starter. He has been below average in every stat cast pitching metric, including ex-WOBA, spin rate, and velocity. His lack of an effective third pitch makes it difficult for him to get through a lineup multiple times. And while the Astros lineup may have destroyed Seattle starter Logan Gilbert in their last meeting, that one was in Houston. He's been much better at home, and he's been the victim of some bad luck and regression in recent weeks. He hasn't been nearly as bad as those underlying numbers suggest, though. He carries a 5.44 ERA into the game, but his high strikeout rate and his low walk rate suggest his ERA shouldn't be anywhere near 5. He has a 4.03 X ERA and a 3.78 FIP. He does allow a fair bit of hard contact, but his strikeout rate and 3.317 BABIP allowed suggest he's been more unlucky than bad in recent starts. And the Mariners starting pitcher edge should be enough to overcome the edge Houston has on offense in the first five innings, as the Mariners are good, plus money in the first five innings. Anything plus money will do on the Mariners. And for my second pick, I'm backing the best team in MLB at home against a team dealing with COVID-19 issues. The Rays host Chris Sale and the Red Sox at 7.10 p.m. and for some reason opened as underdogs. It's a pick now with both teams at minus 110 as the Rays have won nine consecutive games, including the last two against Boston. Sale's a big name. He's been pretty good since returning from injury, but he hasn't faced a good lineup yet. He's only played against Texas, Baltimore, and Minnesota, and the Rays will be a significant step up in quality of a lineup that he'll have to face. Sale also hasn't been that much better than his counterpart for Tampa, Drew Rasmussen. The Rays have a significant edge in offense in this game. They have a significant edge in the bullpen once the starters depart the game, and Rasmussen carries a solid 3.75 XCRA, 3.86 FIP, and he strikes out 10 batters per nine. He's more than capable of keeping this game close through five or so innings before the Rays' edge in the pitching matchup takes over. Anything minus 115 or better is good on Tampa Bay to win its 10th straight game. That's it for me, and best of luck, today's MLB Slate.